Hey everybody and welcome back to another episode of Bad Unboxing. Today we're going to be unboxing a Japanese snack box. This Japanese snack box is brought to you by JapaneseFreedomMarket.com. They were kind enough to send me a box of all sorts of goodies. I, I was actually able to uh, sneak a peek at some sort of Mandarin gummy chews. But uh, other than that, I'm pretty clueless as to what is inside and we are going to find out today. Alright guys, here comes the money shot. Bah! Ooh. <gasps> Oh my goodness! They sent me a ninja star! <laughs> Fucking brilliant. Now we're going to take a look at the literature we have at the top. It says, Freedom Japanese Market, from our family to you. And it has a picture of a, a lovely interracial couple there with a couple of kimono kids. Now, uh, all over this paper, it looks like we have uh, detailed lists. Of, uh, of what actually comes in the box. It says, these soft and delicious gummies not only contain real tangerine juice, they, oh, so it's not, uh, it's not a mandarin orange, it's tangerine. They're also brimming with edible collagen. Mmm. Oh. Oh my goodness. Man, I'm in hog heaven right now. I mean, hogs don't eat tangerines, but if hogs ate tangerines, I'd be in hog heaven right now. All right, so this one is called Oshushina San Gummy Set, and it is the bonus snack. Make your own mini tray of sushi with this gummy set. I'm slobbering at the teeth. Oh my gosh, it's like a, it's a tray of a bunch of sushis. All right, this is dope. There you have it, kids. That is an Oshushina San Gummy Set. Ooh, whoa. All right, guys. Up next we have an Ume Ball. And uh, it says that it's a crispy tube of goodness. One cheese flavored and one menteco. Pollock and cod roe. I'm thinking this one's fish because it's silver. Fish tend to be more silver. So let's go with this one. This is, oh, uh, this looks, this looks cheese-like. Doesn't that look cheese-like? All right, guys, here we go. This is pollock and cod roe. That's uh, fish eggs, I'm pretty sure. Here we go. It certainly is fish eggs. Up next we have um, what looks like a Halloween Kit Kat. It says trick or treat on it, and um, presumably it's gonna be somehow different than a regular Kit Kat. There's actually nothing on here about the Kit Kat, so this just, to me, this is bonus. I don't know why it's in here, but it's uh, certainly bonus. It's like a, maybe a pumpkin Kit Kat or something. You guys see that? It's like a, uh, hmm, no, I think it's, hmm. White, cho like a white chocolate pumpkin Kit Kat. Okay, guys, what we have here is wasabi nori, wasabi-flavored squid jerky. You ask for exotic snacks, and we have delivered. Ooh, that is hella sticky. That is the one downside. It's a sticky wicket. Now, uh, I think... Ooh. <laughs> ah. Mmm. Talk about jerky. <laughs> I have a problem with zooming the camera in, because I... You kind of put it a little low. It's chewy, but not bad. I mean, you're gonna get the fish up in there, but it is what it is. It is what it is. It ain't nothing but a fish and some wasabi. I don't care. I eat what I want. Okay, what we have here is a Jagabi salsa fries. And they say, we know you're not expecting salsa flavored products in a Japanese box, but you gotta try these out. So, not bad. I can't say they taste like salsa. Maybe Japanese salsa? Yeah, because I mean, it's not bad, it's just like, it tastes like Japanese salsa or something. I don't know what that tastes like, but... Ramoon Candies. This container is shaped like the real drink bottle and tastes similar, so you can enjoy that Japanese festival feeling for days. Let's, uh, let's find out what Ramoon is. Oh, there we go. Alright, open. Oh, whoa. Mmm. They're like, uh, they're like sweets that you'd get from, uh, from like a Boomer's or a, or a Chuck E. Cheese. Some like, uh, chalky sort of flavory thing. I like those. I'll give those, uh, I'll give those a 7 out of 10. Alright, what we got here is, uh, oh yeah, some anime on there. This is called, this is called colon. Apple, apple ice cream colon. <laughs> apple ice cream colon. They're, uh, ooh, yeah, they're, they're basically tubes, little cylindrical things. Holy shit. What the heck? Alright, let me just... Hmm. I'm bringing the camera in. Okay, guys. So it might be hard for you guys to realize how 
malleable these are, but that's how malleable they are. This next one is called Soporo Potato, and it's puffed potato chips fla flavored with chicken, beef, and vegetables that taste like a Japanese-style barbecue. All right, let's get into it. I don't know what a Japanese-style barbecue tastes like, so this, uh, this will be a new experience in many different ways. I guess it is potato. I don't know. I'm getting a rice cracker feel to it. Maybe maybe I'm poisoned for life. I'm, I'm going to get a rice cracker feeling from everything. But these, top of the line. All right, guys, we're getting really close to the end. This one is called Niru Niru Nirun, and it is a DIY candy kit. It's easy to make, and there's instructions. So let's get it popping, shall we? Oh, my gosh. Oh, is that wet? What happened? All right, a lot of a lot of sugars coming out. Oh gosh, it's filling up my room. My room's too windy. It's taking it off. That ain't the color coral. Coral? Coral? That's not the coral of purple. Coral? Are you a fool, coral? Uh, it looks like it's saying for me to stir it. Now I had a really tough decision to make. Should I walk five feet to the bathroom and fill this cup with water? Or should I just grab whatever's on in, in my room at the time, such as this uh, camelback that has some good juice inside, some leftover juice? I thought, well, let's just use the leftover juice. I, I'm not a wasteful guy, so I'm not going to waste it. We're going to use the leftover juice. This is obviously the easiest way to get the juice out. I don't want to unscrew it and deal with an awkward bag, so... I think that's a comfortable amount of juice. All right, so we got the juice in there. You guys can't see it. Maybe I'll, uh, I'll fuck with the camera. All right, guys, you see the stuff there? I'm gonna mix this in, make a nice little slosh, a good old sloshy slosh. It seems to be, ooh, it's like, it's like foaming up. It's like foaming up, baby. It's like, uh, ooh, is this gonna thicken? Yeah, it's totally thickening. Dude, this is like turning into ice cream. Okay, I got I got this stuff open. We're gonna pour the green stuff in the ooh, it's like rock candy. Oh my gosh, and then you just eat it with a spoon and you dip it the spoon in the rock candy and then you eat it. It is potent. It is hella potent. Hoo 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 wee. I'm an American though, I'm 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 not used to all this like small utensils and crap. I'm used to eating my shit fast, alright? Don't get it twisted. Uh, uh. This one is called Ramen Pretz. It says, This tasty snack comes in an adorable package and showcases the ramen-making abilities of Tochigi Prefecture, our neighbor. Apparently, this is uh, their neighbor who makes these uh, pretzels, which is nice. I think it's cool. They, they will team up with their neighbor. I don't understand the puppy on the front, though. I don't know why you need that there. Like, there's nothing here that... It screams puppy, like, I don't know. I mean, it's screaming like, um, flavored pretzel sticks. That's like a, that's like a, that's like a six star rating. I'll give them a six, okay? Not, nothing, nothing too extraordinary. Okay, guys, the final piece of the puzzle is, uh, Super Mario gum. We have one nice piece of gum to wrap up your meal with. Or finish your meal with. Don't wrap your meal in gum. That doesn't seem like gum. I think you're supposed to eat them individually, but I'm gonna eat them both at the same time. All right, guys, I think that's going to do it for us today. Thank you so much for watching. A big warm thank you to the people at freedomjapanesemarket.com for sending me this box. They didn't need to, but I, you know, feel like a better person for it. I've experienced colons for the first time, and uh, I gotta say they're delicious. Uh, you know, the only thing that wasn't delicious would be the, the wasabi squid jerky, but it takes up a sliver of space, and I think the box was overall better for it. So uh, thank you so much for watching. Remember, Facebook, Twitter, YouTube.com slash IDubsTV. I'll leave uh, relevant links down below. Remember, Facebook, Twitter, YouTube. Uh, and remember to tune in next time when I suck on a uh, Sakuchi stick. I don't think there are any Sakuchi sticks in here. Because I, I see myself using this more than anything else in the box. Because, like, my car kind of... It doesn't smell bad, but like it could use some some leather scent. I don't like. I should probably just get some oiled up old man to sit in my passenger seat. Okay, we got Indie Box newsletter. They'll tell you about. Uh, oh, that's pretty sweet. They'll tell you about past boxes that you've missed. 
one more thing, guys. I forgot to mention that I plan on doing more of these unboxings vis-a-vis uh, -vis companies sending me boxes. And uh, so far, it's been working out pretty well. People think that it's a pretty good promotion for their product, and I'm, I plan on doing more of that. But uh, I was considering opening a P.O. box so you guys can send me stuff as well. It would just make the whole thing a lot easier, I think. But if you guys do have any interest in, in sending me stuff to unbox or whatever, you know, nothing dangerous, uh, just uh, let me know. And then we could uh, have a new segment where it's like uh, fan letters, but it's, it wouldn't be letters. It'd be like fan unboxing or something. Um, so yeah, let me know, guys. Come out, damn it. Pussy lips.